News 8 has uncovered evidence a New Haven firefighter was caught not once but twice under the influence of drugs or alcohol while on the job. And that firefighter is still working for the city. First tonight at 5, News 8's Mario Boone has been working on this story. Mario, what have you found out? Scott, we've been working on this story since at least April. We've learned despite those two failed drug tests, this firefighter still has been able to keep his job, and you might be shocked by the reason why. When your life is at stake, you expect first responders to be sober. Not so for New Haven firefighter Jared Pullen. News 8 uncovered internal documents showing Pullen was on duty multiple times while high on booze and drugs. Records show in October 2015, Pullen reported for duty and failed a drug test. He was suspended two days. Less than one year later in August, Pullen failed another on-the-job drug test after he, quote, emitted a positive blood alcohol. He was suspended five more days. Pullen has been a New Haven firefighter nearly a decade. His record has been less than stellar. In less than 10 years, Pullen racked up at least 24 days on suspension for various infractions. So where is Pullen now? Home serving another suspension for yet disclosed infraction. Initially put on leave with pay, his suspension became unpaid after News 8 raised questions about Pullen's status. As to why he hasn't been fired, the city agreed to keep Pullen because, quote, there hasn't been strict adherence to the drug and alcohol policy in the fire department. We went to Pullen's home for his side, but got no answer. Gerald Antunes is chair of the New Haven Board of Alders Public Safety Committee. It would be troubling for any city employee, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not just limiting it to fire or police. Any city employee that would be disturbing. Now we've reached out to the chief, uh, John Austin, also the city of New Haven. A spokesperson for the city declined to comment. The chief did not respond, and the firefighters union also did not respond. Meanwhile, Pullen could be soon eligible for a pension in violation of the labor contract. Reporting live from News 8 Control, I'm Mario Boone, News 8.